Hi everyone, my name is Guang Yiliu. I'm a PhD student from the Mechanical Engineering Department at Lehigh University. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Classification Aware Path Planning of Network of Robots. The authors of these papers are Guang Yiliu, Arash Amini, Professor Martin Takash, and Professor Nader Monti. In this paper, we're trying to solve the problem of multi-robot map classification. We assume that there are identical robots in the environment, and each of the robots can take a partial observations from the environment. In order to collect more samples from different locations of the environment, robots are capable of taking actions. And meanwhile, robots are also capable of communicating with each other over a complete network to exchange their beliefs from the environment. So the problem we're trying to solve in this paper is to design a path planner for the robots to plan their motions such that it can benefit the classification as much as possible. In the following picture, we show the distributed classification architecture of our paper. And we will introduce each model section by section in the following. First, as we can see from the left hand side, robot will take a picture from the environment as its partial observations. And the partial observations will be treated as an image processed through a pre-trained VGG lighting model and generate the feature vector XIT. The feature vector includes the extracted classification features from these certain partial observations. As we mentioned earlier, robots can only take one partial observation at each time step. In order to classify the map, robots need to build the interconnections between all the partial observations they collected throughout the time. In order to tackle this problem, we use the LCM cells. The LCM cells will build the, will take the feature vector XIT as its input and build the interconnection between all those, these collected feature vectors. The output of the LCM cells is actually the hidden states of the LCM cells. We name it as the MIT. And these feature vectors or these feature history vectors will be used for both classification and the path planning purpose. At each time steps, the encoded history feature vectors, MIT, will be served for two different purposes. One, it will be passed to a classification aware path planner to generate the path for the next few time steps. At the same time, it will be passed to the classifier to generate the beliefs of the environment. We'll first start with the classification aware path planner. Instead of using the single action motion planning or the go-based motion planning, we introduce the classification aware path planner that utilizes T sub P parallel neural networks to generate the T sub P actions for the next time steps. And this whole thing can be done in a classification manner. That is to say, for the T sub P time steps, there exists a finite number of possible passes. And our goal of using this classification aware path planner is to classify the most beneficial paths from all these possible combinations of finite passes. So in this manner, the path planning problem can be solved in terms of the classification problem. The classification aware path planner utilizes the feature, feature memory vector MIT to sample the actions from time step T to the time step T plus T sub P. And this kind of man manipulations will highlight the dependencies on both long term and short term. As shown in the following picture in here, building either single action policy or using the go based action policy can only highlight the dependence on either, both either long-term or the short-term. But by using our, our proposed classification aware path planner, we can highlight dependencies on both. As we mentioned earlier, the feature history vectors, MIT, will also be used for the classification purpose. We construct the classifier with the fully connected layers of neural networks, and robots will use the feature memory, MIT, 
to cluster map and generate the prediction vector Q I capital T as following. As we mentioned earlier, we also assume that robots can communicate with each other through a complete network, such that they can exchange and fuse their prediction vectors via a consensus type communication model, which we proposed in our paper. And they will generate a global prediction vector presented by the following. The predicted label of the map will be presented by a argmax functions of the Q vector, which is the global prediction vector. In this paper, we will validate our proposed architecture with a satellite map dataset. We created a satellite map dataset from 10 different universities from Google Earth to serve as a simulation dataset. The following picture shows the map dataset of Lehigh universities. And as we show in the picture, you can see the changes in both long-term and short-term, which means the seasons and years and in order to increase the difficulty of the classification, we also added a random clause over the original map, such that robots need to travel to the regions that they are not covered by the clouds. We validate our proposed methods in both satellite map dataset and the remaining dataset in PyTorch. The following figure shows the simulation results of our proposed method and other state-of-art methods. It is shown that our proposed method obtains the better performance in real time than other motion planners, and as well as it takes the less time than all the other methods to achieve some certain accuracy. And it is also shown that our proposed methods obtains a better global power efficiencies for the classification manner. On the right hand side, we show the heat map generated by all three different motion planners. So they are all tested with the uh, exact same initial conditions. And it is shown that using our proposed method, robots tend to avoid the area that is covered by the clouds. Our proposed method shows the significant improvement from the other methods, as we mentioned earlier, and has a comparable performance with respect to the centralized approach, which is we feed a full map as an image to the VGC netting model. We also validated our method with real-world experiments with a quadcopter. So in the figure showing above, showing below, our snapshots taken from the single quadcopter trying to classify the map of the Lehigh University. In conclusion, we use a parallel neural networks to solve the past planning problem in a classification manner. Our proposed method shows significant improvement from the other state-of-the-art methods. Our future works include enabling the communication of the past information and optimizing the classification aware past planner to remove some redundant paths that exist in the lookup library. <laughs>